Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL. I'm Tasteless, and with me is Artosis. How you doing, buddy? I am doing pretty well, Tasteless. Yeah, me too. Me Still too. just a little bit jet-lagged. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. Isn't that Normally weird? I say there's farmers and there's gamers, but apparently I'm a farmer gamer. Yeah. That doesn't mean I play Farmville, of course, because no, that game sucks. that game sucks. But can you buy me some eggs for my farm? <laughs> no, man. My mom wants me to gift her a cow. I'm like... How did you find Facebook, Mom? <laughs> no, I woke up early today, too. I woke up at 10. I was like, like what's... I know. You I, like, called me at up, like I opened up the man. door. There's like sun out there. I'm like... Ah, you like slammed I'm the like, door. What's going on here? Uh, yeah. So I've been awake for... Normally I wake up at 3 and I'm like, oh, I got to get to work. It's 3 p.m. I slept in. Um, but no, man, we're on, we're on at U.S. time now. So... It is good to be here, though. I don't I'm, think it's even quite U.S. time. I think it's somewhere in between. No, we like almost got used. We're on like European. We're like time. in this nether, like the part where it's just ocean. We're like in that <laughs> time period right now. We're like slowly trying. We're like to on ship Picaran it Island time. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it's like a you know a few hours like behind Hawaii. Like not quite. Soon we'll be back into the Asian time frame. We are of course talking about MLG, uh, which we were at uh, in beautiful Columbus, Ohio. We had a lot of fun there. Yeah. Feel free to check out those VODs. The tournament was awesome. The staff was great. The fans were cool. The casting was terrific. And uh, check that out, please. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, we, you know, it's good to see all the people in the United States. But on to today's games. We have MMA against Leon. Round of eight, man. It's going to be pretty you know crazy. What this means. What? There's going to be a Slayers in the round of four. Yeah. They deserve it, too. That's what it means. That's what it means. Uh, now man, now they I know. Do. They do. Of course, MMA just won MLG. MMA won MLG, now he's at GSL and the R08. Yeah. Again, the battle of the alphabet here yeah. at the GSL. All the, at, no, <laughs> all the letters are fighting. Just they're all fighting. Like the letter people. Which, like, letter super win. socks would totally win, man. <laughs> we, uh, it's like, no, tall teeth would actually just bite him. Yeah, they probably would. Actually, it's like, actually, no one's teeth. actually old enough to know these, these That references. joke is old. That's, like, that's old, man. There's some kid who's like waiting for us to make fun of Dora the Explorer, but uh, sorry, we we're happen. just a little bit too old to hit that joke the demographic. So uh, we have this great TVT. These guys are real experts. Yeah. In this matchup, you know, some TVTs really upset me, but these two. You want to talk about it? I I wouldn't mind. Can I give about you it? some clay? And you, you remember can mold your what feelings? was that? What was that group we had back like in GSL three or something? Where like. The players kept attacking each other. I know Mac was in the group. So, I, are you remembering what I'm saying? Where they were well, like, wait, go on and give me more detail. They were like close spots on metal, and they just kept on throwing units up each other's ramps and losing oh, all of them. Oh yeah, man! It was like the guys like he lost all his siege tanks. That, that was the that longest day of my life. I need that to go day on his had, siege like, tanks. That day had 35 hours tasteless. That was a long day. I do remember that. But Ryung, this is a guy that plays like really standard solid TVT. Yeah, I enjoy that. Uh, MMA. This guy, he plays a few different styles, but he's very good at it. So. He approaches the game in a really intelligent manner. It's no shock that Slayer's boxer uh, is mentoring him, well, yeah. as well as Young, for that matter, because they're both on the team Slayers. Also, uh, special announcement, John's in the studio today. Hey, I'm looking John. at him right now. Very exciting. Is he going to come around here? Oh, there he that. is. Watch him. He breaks his <laughs> bottle over my head. I actually thought the thing was full. Yeah, it just conks like, you. I was like, what's happening? I'm about to be on YouTube forever. It's like... Stupid caster thinks he's talking and then breaks a bottle over my head. Nobody knows the context of it. But it's good to have him down here. We've missed him. He's been busy in the office. So, as we said for our first uh, matchup, it is MMA against Leung. Yeah. Leung. Leung. That, that, not the easiest name to say. Um, yeah. And, of course, we have the best foe you after that against Marine King Prime. Of course we have the best foe you. No, 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 no. Not of course. My bad. Somehow, someway, the stars aligned, perhaps. I'm not sure because I haven't watched all his matches yet. Uh, the best foe you has made it this far when he's actually one of my number one candidates to fall into Code B and never return. Yeah, I can't believe the best. The guy has literally cheesed every game I've ever seen, Tasteless. And here he is. We're pretty deep in this tournament. This is round of eight. I mean, this yeah. is the point in time where we stop casting four best of threes in a day. Yeah. Um, of course, these best are both. Best of fives today, Tasteless. Yeah, I was about to say, today's best of fives. So, you know, maybe you're a fan of MMA. You see him, he's down 2 I don't be like, 
yow, and like throw the popcorn bucket at, at the your screen. monitor, and then it's you like, know, and then it's gonna be sticky. You have to pick up your keyboard and shake it like this, and then more than popcorn comes out of that thing. Oh, no, there's tasteless. skin follicles in there. There's hair. There's hair follicles. It's with skin. What is it called when you lose dead skin? Is there worth dander? Is dander? And I, don't, I believe dander is just you know this the is dead stuff that falls why off. Why of our you. job is so difficult? Is it's just it's live TV and. Sometimes we say dumb stuff. And then that guy at home, usually the guy that also watches Jeopardy and thinks mm. he would have won it if he was just on the show. Probably, you know, modern day version of that guy who watches uh, Who Wants to Be the a Millionaire. he guesses at every question. Yeah, he he gets a good amount right, but you lose money when you get the wrong, yeah, man. The wrong answer. He's at home watches. He's like, no, these guys are dumb. But uh, that's that's a tough part of our job, Dan. Artosis. It is. It is. Um, you know what? I just I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go ahead and say please, I've been trying please. to think of a way to give this fact to the world. It's just an interesting fact. I I was just walking along with you today. I thought of it. I'm like, hmm, I want to mix that into the cast somehow, but I don't know how to get it out there. So I'm just gonna say it. You know what the largest city in the world is area wise? Wait, I, isn't it L.A.? No. Am I wrong? You're wrong. You mean you mean a big city? I'm talking about the largest city area wise in the world. I don't know. It's Juneau, Alaska. Is it? Yeah. It's now a fact we know. I wanted to share with you guys. That's it's all. It's a good fact. It's the end. All right. Let's now talk about the game. No, no. You see, you should bring that by me because here's what you could have said: is you could have said we're going to be on the map, crevasse. It's bigger than the largest city oh. in the world. See, if Juneau, we actually Alaska. set things up ahead of time, that yeah. would have worked perfect. But, but it's as, okay. As you and I know, we wing everything. So. We do. You know, our eh. prep time is the 10 minute ride on the subway. We spend time making each other giggle. We go, our prep uh, time. That in the cast. Our prep time taste was 10 years of friendship. That's true. We like put our rings together and power <laughs> up. The game starts. We do our special little pinky swear together. We like do that. We do the thing. We like give me like do like that. We like go like that and do it. Yeah, that's what we do. So uh, we are uh, going to be introducing our players in a little bit here when our Korean commentators are ready. We are of course laced into the Korean broadcast, so we kind of go at their pace. Um, but yeah, now you know. You know, June, so it's Juno, Alaska. Is Juno, Alaska? Because, you know, Juno was a good music group. They used to make good electronica. All right, now we're going to introduce our players. Slayer's MMA. He just took down, well, the MLG, which I'm hoping you guys all watch. Taking every letter. Amazing play. He was actually the only Terran in, like, the top seven or eight or so, and he won the whole tournament, so it's pretty impressive. Um, so, yeah, man, great, great player. He's he's owned up the team leagues. Very handsome guy. He was a StarCraft 1 B-teamer for SK Telecom, which was Boxer's team. Yep. Now Boxer has grabbed him by the scruff of his neck, kicking and screaming. He's like, yeah, I'm scared. It's a new game. And Boxer's like, no, you can do it. And here he is doing it, man. Boxer, like a mother lion, just grabbing his cubs by their neck. Teaching them to be ferocious killers, making them purr when, uh, you know, they kill. You know, I think it's the book Naked Ape. I want to read that book. Oh, you know, you know why yeah. cats uh, purr? Uh, right. When they when they kill something, it's because they actually get pleasure from killing things. It's actually like why they're they just like tasteless on the ladder. Yeah, they are. They are. I I purr when I take their ladder points. Our toasts. <laughs> now we're on to our other players. Slay, Slayers Leung. Leung. That's a name. You say that at home right now. Try it, Leung. That is something you gotta you gotta do special stretches with your tongue. I'm gonna call him this out. Ryu No. Ooh. Ooh. Ryu N G. Well, no, but. Uh, NG, I think that's a Vietnam, Vietnamese last name that's pronounced no. Is Isn't it? it? I, I, I believe I, don't know. I had a, one of my friends in high school had that last name and it was no. I, I think so. Could be. Yeah. Pretty sure about it. We're going to see if he can sure you can out of this. Uh, let's start the cast over. See if he can focus let's dash cancel. cancel out of dash that. cancel out into Ultra. <laughs> oh, I had a really good one taste. I was going to dash. I was going to like. Dash cancel out of your joke. <laughs> you like focus cancel. I like the having enough bar to do it. I'm like, all right. You use one meter and stuff so that we yeah. can compliment me out of there. Now, uh, Ryung, this guy, he's got very scary TVT. We saw him, um, I think, yeah. most memorably in the team league. That was really where he yeah, wowed yeah, us. Yeah. He's actually a great player, Tasis. He's he's got some of my favorite TVT out of everybody. Yeah. Well, he was the guy we were most excited to cast here today. Out of these guys, I mean, ranking is awesome. The best. This is going to be very yeah, interesting. Actually, but out of everyone today, Ryong is the person I'm the most excited to see. All right. Look at that. Team MMA makes. has his evil grin. He's like, I want MLG. Look at this. One guy is wearing a white shirt. The other one a blue shirt. They're on the same team. It's like home team versus away team. Yeah. Look I at that. I bet you that they uh, 
They took care we of We could take him right sure outside and make him play flag football. It's better than shirts and skins, man. Yeah. MMA's in there. He's all cold in his booth and stuff because his air conditioner is like, oh, I wish they made me wear a shirt. <laughs> I'm freezing. Well, we do have the maps. Bellshire, beach, dual site. Sound like a cavern. Sound like a fortress in Metalopolis. Thank God MMA took out Crevasse. I do not like that map. TBT tasteless. Terminus Reeve being taken out by Young. I don't like that map TBT either. I like all these five better than those two. Happy day. Happy Looks day. like we got two Zelnaga maps in here. How right, many right. more Zelnaga maps were there be? I want at least one uh -huh. more. Note that the Fortress and the Caverns is on the same title set. Same kind of map. Mm. Title set. It'd be weird if we had a Zelnaga. It's like Zelnaga Beach. It's like on the beach. Like, well, it doesn't look like a Zelnaga planet to me. Well, right, actually, if Zelnaga can create two different races, Tasteless, they can move to a new planet. Ah, well said. All right. It's time. We're here at the GSL Super Tournament. We're going to get this game going. Players MMA versus Players Real. Wow! Love that song playing in there. Mm -hmm. In the red. Over here at the right. Over here at the beach. The Belshire. The fresh Prince of Belshire. We'll find <laughs> out. Players MMA. I am the fresh prince of Terran Belshire. Walking in your base, getting in your face. <laughs> How did that theme song go? Uh, Slayer's MMA is is the one. Is the chosen one. <laughs> I love right, when you have a in the conversation yellow. with the PD and no one hears it. If we're here in the yellow. <laughs> no, I'm not just repeating what our PD told us, Sertosis. There's Slayer's Leon. It's pretty awesome. Um, Leung, a name that's kind of hard on my tongue. My Chi Young. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, LG, Intel, and G Skill for making this event possible. <laughs> oh, look, that's a great camera shot. Whoa. Our you observer's know, I, getting better and better every day. You know, the in my first few minutes of playing StarCraft II Tasteless, okay, that is so cool. Um, in my first few minutes of playing StarCraft 2 Tasteless, I'm yeah. just like on a broken record. In the first two minutes of playing StarCraft 2 Tasteless. Take your pills, Grandma. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had this funny thought. And then my thought was, well, everything's like a little bit slanted in this game. You know what I mean? Everything's yeah. a little bit 3D and, you know, kind well, of Well, it just, it just is 3D. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a good <laughs> I feel way like it's it. kind of 3D, if you it's will. It's kind of 3D-ish. Well, well uh, it just is 3D, Artos. Well, I, I had this thought of just like taping down my delete key or my insert key to just always have it turned and how funny that would be like go to terms I like tape down a key on the keyboard and everyone's like their brain breaks if they watch my screen <laughs> like oh what are you doing oh do you, can you play like that but I've like always done it so everyone's just like that would be crazy wouldn't that be insane yeah man have the screen rotated like that uh oh what's going on he's gonna get his feet wet right now Says the water's too cold. I can't go any deeper. He's playing hooky. He's just ah, uh, oh, factory. That is not a good idea to make a oh. building on the sand. It might sink into the water. Jesus. What? Do you think it could possibly be a Thor rush? Yeah, I think it could. <laughs> Thank you. I was just making sure. I'm really excited about it. Was the Thor movie good? Did you see it? I did see it. Is it good? Uh, before they went to Earth, it was great. I could have watched like five hours of them fighting those uh. Those like ice giants. I could have watched that all day long. Tastes twelve hours of fighting ice giants yet. with like with swords and stuff. 
oh yeah, but then they went to Earth and I was like, oh, this is terrible. They like rushed through all of this character I was really development sad in like three when seconds, man. It was just made me sad. I was really sad when all my friends got tricked into thinking Transformers was, was good. Remember yeah, that? I'm like in the theater pulling my hair out. There's like robots sneaking through a suburban neighbor neighborhood. I'm like, yeah. no, no. But here's actually a cool Spielberg. A cool trick for that movie. If what? you watch it all muted, like it's on an airplane, you just don't plug in your headphones. Oh, yeah, that's one of those it. movies. It's yeah. like, oh, okay, there's like some cool action and stuff. But as soon as you hear them talking, like when all the Transformers introduce themselves, I I almost had to just lay down in the snow and die. No, that's, almost, that's really bad, I almost man. gave up on humanity. Well, that's where I'm like, is this movie theater tall enough to where if I jump off the top of it, I will kill myself? That's what, <laughs> those are the questions I have to ask myself. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, going on to this game and starting to pick up a little bit more. Yeah, seeing He's actually going to do a proxy banshee. Bush. Oh, okay, cool. Look at that. He's just building his whole base over there, man. Hey, man that's yeah. his little island. That's crazy. Yeah. That's the MMA, MMA island. Well, we do have an uh, interesting belt from Ryung because he's not getting any add-ons himself, Tasteless. Just a starport and a factory rallying out some uh, aliens, but he is going to attack. And not much over here. Or MMA. In fact, he does not have enough to take that out, Tasteless. That's yeah. a scary little attack for him. He's going to figure out how many SCVs he wants to bring down. I don't think he's going to get there in time. This is uh, Well, he's taking the high ground. Very smart move. Nice. Going up to that high ground. These two both playing very, very smartly. A couple bunkers going up for I feel MMA. like he's doing uh, almost two things at once here. He's either going to have to hold that entrance or make the bunker. But uh, the Banshee is going to move out now. Now, there are not a lot of Marines here to defend in the main, if any. Uh-oh. That's quite true, Tasteless. Uh, we do have a Banshee being made by Ryung. And here we go. Oh, still attacking that... Uh, the barracks and depot. But look at this. The Banshee doing a ton of damage. Five kills already. Six kills. Seven kills. Eight kills. Oh Nine my god. Kills. And the tree's on fire. Oh boy. That's what happens when you leave the Christmas lights plugged in Artosis. <laughs> I saw that Mythbusters. It's not true. I know. 14. Oh my god. 15. This, this is getting ugly, man. All right. MMA holding on. He should be up to like 20 by now. He's cloaked now. That's just, actually, this might just be a tasteless. 22 kills. 23 kills. Oh, Edison. my God. And yeah, that, that has to be it. 24. What you going to do? I think at, on your 24th kill, I think the 25th kill is free if you bring your SCV kill punch card. <laughs> Man. 13 supply to 26. <laughs> This is a very quick game, this one. Well, he has breached the main, but um, here's the thing. This guy has banshees and his buildings fly. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? Well, Ryung does have a couple Vikings, so I guess that he can try to get something done with this. All right. Well, MMA, uh, I got to hand it to him. That was a pretty sneaky strategy. I'm under the impression that Ryung does not experience this in practice games. No. 28 supply to 7 right now. That is four times the supply. And now it's on a 5 for... GG. And that's it, We've man. We've never casted a game that has had that many SCD kills that quickly. I think look at, right. look at the MMA's ah. mischievous look. Look at his mischievous look on his face. Oh! Ooh. One nerd down. All right. Can't we are quite not focus focused on that. It looks like a little iPod. <laughs> Ryung. Ryung's got to be pissed about that. No, he cannot be happy, man. Proxy, Cloak, Banshee. It's rough. It's He's got a Cafe Benny in the back of that there, uh, too. A little coffee. I believe Slayer's Box Rock actually owns one of those. Yeah, I think he actually owns a Cafe Benny's uh, coffee shop. Those things are taking coffee. over Soul, man. Those things All are everywhere. All my old favorite places, that and Zoo Coffee. They are the new plagues yeah, of Korea. Yeah, Zoo Coffee man. is huge in uh, Korea. In fact, I just posted, I was actually in Zoo Coffee a little while ago. I took my picture with the sub lion. It was, See it on Twitter. I, that's the funniest picture, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that card actually means that he's going to win three rounds straight. That's what that, he's saying with that card. Oh, I need to get one of those. I need to get one of those. <laughs> It's actually a magic card that just makes you win the GSL. It's like, oh, he pulled the card. He got it. It's like this weird card rolls our Slayer's Leash is like, no. <laughs> it's Korean poker. All right. All right. Dual site is next. Dual site. I'm excited to see who's going to get the hot side and who's going to get the nice side. 
MMA will probably get the nice side. Look, if there's a side you want to get for aesthetics, it's the bottom left. It's going to bring you well, the right attitude. Unless you're a gothic nerd. Yeah. You're a goth you nerd. The other, uh, you're a dark nerd. Yeah, man. I bleed. You practice witchcraft. You're a Wiccan nerd. Yeah. You're a guy that uses the Ouija board. It's like, no, man, that means you're dumb. <laughs> There's nothing dumber than a Ouija board. I just want to point that That's, out. It's pretty dumb. The countdown has started. Well, uh, astrology is pretty dumb, but Ouija board, man, that's dumb. <laughs> All right. Uh, head to head MMA against Leon. Slayers versus Slayers. Both these guys, of course, mentored by Slayers Boxer. One will move on to the round of four. The other will be out of the GSL Super Tournament.